It Comes Quickly and the Rise of the Remnant, word given June 28, 2022 by Abby K. Transcript The world is plunging deeper and deeper into darkness. Chaos and all these is being hidden from the common man. It is building such immense pressure that will soon erupt in people's faces like an explosion. Most will be caught unaware and therefore unprepared for all that is coming. The warnings have been loud and clear, yet largely ignored. This is how and why men's hearts will fail them for all that they will behold. I take no pleasure in seeing the suffering that will befall man, but an even bigger displeasure for the wickedness that must now be dealt with. I have not taken any pleasure on the wickedness of man, spewing his wickedness to the innocent for his own pleasure, spewing wickedness on my very nature that has been crying out to me for liberation. I have called, I have warned, and I have waited for hearts to be convicted and change, all in vain. So now I am allowing for what must be to be. It comes quickly now, one hot on the heels of another. If you escape the snare, you will be caught in a trap. There will be nowhere to escape for them that have rejected me. Whatsoever a man soweth, so shall he reap. I will not be mocked, neither will I be silent. The shakings are coming quickly, and woe to those who have held on to gods that cannot see or hear, nor life a hand to save them, for you will be swept away with your idols. Time, as I said, and as you know it on earth, is long lapsed. You have been in the window of mercy to give all time to repent and to get their houses in order. This window is quickly closing, and what you will see next is destruction on every side. My remnant, you will arise and shine for such a time as this did you come into the world. I have been preparing you in the secret place and equipping you for what must now be. For darkness has covered the earth, but my glory to rise upon you will cover the earth. In a moment you will hear my call to you, to come forth and be instructed on what shall be your position and assignment. We have work ahead of us, for soon many will be plunged into hopelessness, and you, my chosen ones, will be their only hope in me. Contend in prayer and keep your lamps full at all times, for in a moment soon coming you will arise full of power and authority to take on the hordes of evil. As the enemy is now rushing in quickly like a flood, you are the standard I am raising at this hour. Be still and know that I am God, and I have never lost a battle. Many things will happen quickly. Disaster and calamity coming quickly. The shakings coming quickly. Window of mercy closing quickly. Enemy rushing in quickly. Remnant to rise quickly. After I had written this down, I felt a heavy grief grip my spirit, knowing that the Father was allowing me to feel a bit of what He was feeling, because He knows what is coming and how quickly all will be upon is. The state of mankind is grievous, and God can see and count how many souls will be lost, souls He created in His own image and likeliness, souls that our Lord shed His blood over, now never to be seen again. I went into a moment of travail, weeping and crying for God's mercy. He was grieving, and I did my best to console him in prayer. Beloved, the judgment is falling soon, and many are lost and without hope. But if you and I can cry for mercy, many souls will be saved. Send mercy ahead of all those who will perish, who will not be prepared to stand before the Lord, so that at their hour of death, Mercy will triumph over judgment. It is your mother, it is your father, it is your sister, it is your brother, your son and daughter. Let us pray for God to raise even one soul to stand in the gap of entire families. He will show mercy through them, a lamb for each house. Pray without ceasing for the lost and the perishing. I asked Father if there was anything he wanted to add.
Indeed, my mercy is a mystery, unfathomable, yet when called upon with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, mercy will respond in great measure. Ask for this burden and it will be granted, for there is nothing topmost in my heart now than the souls of all those that I created. My mercy will draw even the hardest of hearts to my love and will rescue many from the dominion of darkness. Heaven is praying with you over these souls, and when you partner with heaven, no demon can thwart or hold back souls from coming to me. This is an act of love on your part, for this is my will until I come for you all. Help me to bring back the lost to my fold, where you are safely tucked away. This message was given at 343 in the Strong's Concordance Hebrew. It means calamity, disaster, destruction, distressed, which is what the Lord says is coming quickly. In the Greek, it means unveil, uncover, and the Lord will unveil his remnant. And that is the end of this message. Scripture to go with this word is John three sixteen through 17, Isaiah 49, 6, Luke 15, 4, and Luke 19, 10, along with Romans 10, 13 through 15. As always, take what you hear in these words to the Lord Jesus Christ in prayer for any and all needed confirmations. Thank you. God bless you. And always, Shalom.